Well, I'm sitting in my truck uh, right now in, um, I'm in Wyoming, but I was working on a few clips um, from Pocatello, Idaho, some grocery shopping. Actually, a really lame episode. Very boring. There's nothing, ex there's just, it's really lame. But w what's got me upset now is I just spent an hour editing this lame episode and I somehow clipped out the whole, I don't know, I screwed it up and I erased it all. So now I gotta recut it together and it feel, now it feels like why? Because it's not even well I shouldn't say it's not interesting. Maybe someone finds it interesting but I, I, I hesitate to even call these things episodes. I mean they're just I don't know what they are. But anyway, here you go. Not too exciting of a report today, but we're going to be heading out of Idaho in the next um, week or so and into Wyoming. So I heard Wyoming is pretty windy is what I heard about Wyoming. We'll see. I'm working on trying to get clips that I'm shooting on this little camera uh, trimmed and edited and uploaded as fast as I can because um, that's what I said I would do. I said I would try to make a, a vlog, a video blog of, of my travel across country. I want to thank uh, people too, like this hat I got from, uh, this hat and these, and these Diet Pepsis I got from uh, J.C. Catlow. And J.C. is a former uh, music producer from Nashville and uh, he actually rode a, cr a horse 2,000 miles in 1971 from Nashville to Phoenix. Um, in honor of uh, law enforcement, uh, honor of the police, to deliver a record that he helped uh, get produced uh, that was honoring uh, the story of a fallen police officer. Well, it's grocery time, grocery day. I haven't cleaned out my cooler in a while. Avocados are definitely getting ripe. So I have uh, I've stopped here at, uh, I'm in Pocatello, Idaho. I actually had to backtrack. Um, in relation to this other project I'm working on, uh, but we had some good news with that, and um, so now I'm going to stop here at Fred Meyer and get myself a little bit of rice milk and maybe some cheese, polenta, a little bit of um, all grain cereal. This stuff I found that I really like. It's, I think it's called Ezekiel. Four, three, or something. Here's some sort of exotic stuff. We got some kiwi, which is delicious. But these papayas, I mean, it's just huge. It could be a lot of fun. So I think I'm gonna grab one of these. Hope you're having fun watching me shop. Oh, peppers, yes. Definitely need some hot peppers. All right, well, the shopping's done. I, I put that big papaya back. It was, uh, it weighed more at the checkout than it did at the scale by the produce section, so I just, it wasn't worth the investment. Although it looked like it might be fun. Fun to eat. By the way, I just love all the colors. Don't you love the colors of all these peppers? Orange, red, green. Good, good, uh, Seem like good, healthy, vibrant colors to have around. Ezekiel 4:9, and it's based on a, I guess it's based on a passage out of the Bible that says that says, "Take also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and spelt and put them in one vessel and make bread of it." And so what they uh, discovered is that these six grains and, and legumes are sprouted and combined and it makes a complete protein that is parallels uh, protein found in milk and eggs. It just seems like a good, you know, when I don't want to cook anything, cook up eggs and stuff, I can just have a little bowl of this almond Ezekiel, 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 vlog. And while I'm at it, I might as well Might as well enjoy my uh, kiwi. I'm holding the camera underneath my chin. Because this, this puppy's definitely ripe. Oh, yeah, that's ripe. Mm. Still, 
What an amazing fruit. Mmm, delicious. Um, exciting stuff. Really exciting. <laughs> thanks for thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.